this is Walker again with more C++ programming. Um, well, I wanted to make a program that finds the average of uh, any two numbers, and I call it Walker's Amazing Average Program. Um, and I tell them to enter the first number, number one, and I um, that's one of the integers that um, that's going to be assigned during this. Um, and then I want the computer to look into the number that they type in, um, and that's going to be number one. And then I say, please enter the second number, number two. And um, then they look into number two, of course. Um, and then I want to make sure that there's an integer for average. Um, but um, I noticed something when I ran this program. Even though it finds the average of the sum of two numbers when there's when they their sum would end up being um, an even number, um, if their sum is an odd number, it will still go with the um, the division of the number before it. So if I were to put in two and seven. Um, it wouldn't be 4.5 as an average, but it would only be 4 because 8 is before it. Um, and that's because I'm assigning an integer for each of these, so I can't have like 4.5 or something like that in this. And so I tell the computer that the average equals whatever they put in for number 1 and added by with the whatever they put in by number 2, and I divide that by 2. So then I make it the program say the average of the two numbers is whatever the, their average was. Um, and then I make it end. And, um, and so that's how it ends. And so now I'm going to compile it. Okay. And now run it. So. Yeah. Um. So as you can see, their sum is odd, so this will only be free. But I'm going to. But it works much better if if their sum is even. So if I would have six and eight, ninety seven. So um, I think this. I had a lot of fun making this program. I hope you liked it all. Well, see ya.